In order to map data in Oracle Integration Cloud, I created an integration, as you saw in the Create Integrations in Oracle Integration Cloud video. I open the mapper. In my integration, connections are already defined. I use these connections as my source and target. I start by mapping the login field in the source to the primary contact party ID field in the target by dragging the login field into the primary contact party ID field. The green line joining the fields indicates that they're mapped. Because my data structure is fairly large, I perform a search to find the employee's total field in the target. From the source, I drag the number of employees field and drop it on the employee's total field in the target. I search for the currency name field in the source and map it to the currency code in the target. When accounts are created in Oracle Sales Cloud, I want to indicate that the account was created by this integration. So I open the Mapping Builder by clicking the Created by Module field. Now I enter the identifier that was associated with this integration when it was created. I validate the integration. All that remains to be done is to add tracking identifiers and to activate the integration. This is described in the Creating Integrations in Oracle Integration Cloud video. Thanks for watching.